Let's put a smile on that face. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to HA Rule Studios. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the continuation of the topic what I started in my previous video talking about this book. 1001 movies you must see before you die. This is the third part of 5 part video to complete all of 1001 movies. So before we jump right into the list, I will give you highlight again for the second list. The list started with another non-English movie again, The Bicycle Chips or Ludwig Day Bicycles, 1947. This neorealism drama Italian movie directed by Vittorio De Sica. Mari. This movie won a lot of awards at that time, won both awards for best film, won Academy Award for best foreign film, and winner at the Golden Globe for the best foreign language film. Yeah, it's similar to Roma or Parasite for this day, right? <laughs> Thank you. This movie tell about a story of poor father searching post-World War II Rome for his stolen bicycle. Being honest with you, I haven't seen this movie and I think it's a good recommendation for me to put this movie into my watch list, right? The list ended with The Cool World, 1963. On that time period from 1947 to 1963, 16 years there is a lot of masterpiece and my personal favorite classic movie. I'm gonna give it to you right now, so listen to me carefully. Alfred Hitchcock, Rob, 1948. Robert, please, please, what? Listen to me, just listen. Let me explain. Explain? Do you think you're gonna explain that? If you've seen movies like Birdman or 1917, I think Alfred Hitchcock do better from 70 years ago as a pioneering of one shot entire movies. This movie blew me away because at that time he has an idea. Maybe across to his mind, how about making movie in one shot? I think that's cool. And he gave us this movie. But no one's talking about this movie, right? Because what? Every time people talk about Hitchcock, they always mention Psycho, Rear Window, Vertigo, and The Birds, or North by Northwest. They'll see and they'll know, and they'll say, why she wouldn't even harm a fly. Let's start from the beginning again, Jeff. Tell me everything you saw. If you ask me what is your favorite Alfred Hitchcock movie, I would say easily North by Northwest. Yeah, this movie is awesome. North by Northwest is my favorite Alfred Hitchcock movie. This is a definition of James Bond movie. Even this is are not Bond movie. Or maybe this movie inspired Dr. No, right? Who knows? <laughs> I admire your luck, Mr. Bond. James Bond. Take a look at the most iconic scene from North by Northwest. This iconic chess scene inspired one of the scenes from Sam Mendes 1917 with this scene. Maybe you never noticed that, but it looks really obvious for me. Okay, let's compare it together. But I love all of them, I have the technical love version for that, and it's awesome, it's works, and it's gorgeous. I'm sorry not all of that, I thought Psycho is still black and white, there is no technical love version for that. And I think this is the best era of Alfred Hitchcock for entire of his career. Let's move on to early work of Mr. Stanley Kubrick like Path of Glory, Spartacus, and Lolita. You'll be good to it, and it'll always be good to you. Yes, sir. Kill him, you imbecile. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Yeah, I guess so. You decided to leave? Not exactly. And some good movies you must know like Sunset Boulevard, Orson Welles' Touch of Evil, Singing in the Rain, A Star Wars... <laughs> 
star is born. I mean, yeah, my bad. I'm sorry for the, <laughs> uh, the old ones. Forbidden planet. To kill a monkey bird. The bridge on the river. Why? I'm ready. All right. Cameras. Born, Miss. Mrs. What? Philadelphia. My name is Vargas. I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. Baby blue, you gotta have me go with you. Hey, you fool, you. I could, uh, I could get a hold of some of the real stuff. Real stuff? Uh, just for cooking purposes, you understand. You have testified that he choked you. And he beat you. What have I done? The Lees also have a classic western like High Noon and John Ford the Searches. I guess you all know why I'm here. I need deputies. I'll take all I can get. So we'll find them in the end, I promise you. We'll find them. Historical drama like the Ten Commandments, Ben Hur, and Lawrence of Arabia. That you have a funny sense of fun. Lawrence of the Arabia is one of those movies that I really love it. At the same time, it is very long movie, almost 4 hours, actually 3 hours and 47 minutes, and I love it. And I know why, it is very epic historical drama, you see white salt on the desert, there is a lot of people involved, and for me, it is very rare to see movies like this, especially on this day, because what? Guess what, please? Yeah, good job, my friend. Studio prefer to use CGI, more efficient, more cheap. You don't need to spend all of your money to a lot of people. You don't need to build a set. What you need is a studio, include green screen or blue screen, the actor, and this is the most important part, the people who really know behind the computer. That's it. Actually, not that's it. I'm just make it quick as possible. But you know what I mean, right? Take an example from the very recent blockbuster movie of all time, Avengers Endgame. For me, Avengers Endgame is with no doubt one of the best MCU movie ever. Because I follow all of MCU movie, let's see the final battle of that movie. We see a lot of people, yes, we see from Wakanda, from another planet, from another world, come join and gathering together to fight Thanos. Does it work? Yes, it is. But if we take a look, the behind the scene of that battle, I mean that battle, yeah. What? What the fuck? It looks very dumb, you know. <laughs> But it is what it is, right? Like Robert Dedder to say. It's what it is. What it is. It's what it is. Let's move on to another my favorite movie on that list again. We have Akira Kurosawa Rasmon and Seven Samurai. <laughs> Seven Samurai is one of the most influential and the most important movie for this day. That movie influenced the work of George Lucas Star Wars, Quentin Tarantino Kill Bill, Sergio Leone A Fistful of Dollar. Actually, Yojimbo more influenced that, but it's still Akira Kurosawa. And Hollywood rip off The Magnificent Seven. Both of them. God damn, sons of bitches! After Seven Samurai, we have a Seven again, but not Seven Samurai, which is Ingmar Bergman, the Seven Seal. Yeah, I didn't. Come to fight him, Tommy. 
The Seventh Seal for me is one of the very strange movie and very biblical. I love Imar Bergman when he approached the character of death, representation as a white-faced man who wears a dark cave and play chess with a man. It's very creepy. That scene is one of the very iconic scenes on the cinema history. But above all of them that I really love is 12 Angry Men. Twelve of Angry Men for me is simply one of the greatest movie of all time. This movie is awesome in every single aspect from writing, directing, cinematography. They use high angle and low angle to communicate it to the audience. What a genius filmmaker, right? The performance, oh man, every character on this movie is awesome. I don't know why. What do you mean you don't know? I don't yes, sir, I know. I'm just losing my mind because I'm so excited to talking about your movie. Don't be angry to me, sir. I just praise your movie. Calm down, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that's good. If you never watch black and white movie, I begging to you right now, please watch this movie as the first black and white movie you ever seen. Come on, knock it off. Okay. Okay, okay. To close this highlight, I'm gonna give it to you a little clip from the movie called The Cool World, 1963 from director Shirley Clark. I think this clip still highly representation to what's going on on this day cause it's still happening, you know. I ask you to pay attention for a little moment to watch this clip. Okay, let's see together. Do you wanna know the truth about the white man? The white man is the devil! The black man is the original man. He's the absolute from which all others come. He's the first and he is the last. He is the maker and the owner of the universe. And from him all others come. Brown, yellow, red and white. Talk to brother. Brothers, listen to me. I'm not ready to betray my kind because I'm white people. <laughs> but here's my point. Please stop racism, stop violence, stop war, we want a peace, you know. We live in this world, it's a really diverse culture, tradition, religion, language, white people, black people, blue people. <laughs> I'm still in your side, doctor, don't worry. Okay, we will going to the third list, so before we jump in, make sure to click like and of course subscribe and ring the bell to be notified so you never miss video like this on my channel. And here we are, the third list of 1001 movies you must see before you die. Hope you'll enjoy the list.
What's the next movie? Make sure your favorite movie will be on the list. So yeah, and that's all the third 200th movie of 1001 movies you must see before you die. Based on the book with the same name from Stephen J. Schneider. Have you read this book? If you haven't, you can buy this book now for the newest edition by just clicking the link on the description box below. That link will throw you directly to Amazon.com, the number one online store in the world. So you can get this book physically. Got it? But sir, what the f What again? You still wondering can I get this book, huh? This is the third time video and obviously you can purchase this book whatever you come from in around the world. Maybe your house in the deeper on the sea and your SpongeBob's neighbor uh, or you live in Gotham City, Wakanda, yeah, Wakanda, they will send to you. Or maybe you live in another planet like Mars and you have a plan to read this book with Matt Damon, Brad Pitt or Dr. Manhattan. Maybe they will send this book to you with Apollo 100. <laughs> but anyway, this book is awesome. And maybe after watching this video, you have a plan to watching the movie what I mentioned in this video. You can get that movie for the best quality Blu-ray version. Okay, I think that's enough for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and have a nice day. See you to the next video.